In this video, I'm gonna show you a new open source free AI from Alibaba that you should be aware exists. Whether you want to use it or not, well, that's what we're gonna find out in this video. Quen 2.5 Max is the new AI from Alibaba, another Chinese company, and they've made this whole thing open source. And it's making, yet again, waves because it's beating a lot of the flagship models in many different attributes. Now, I wanna be clear here, Quen 2.5 Max is a model much like GPT-40, Claude Sonnet 3.5, uh, Llama 3.5, or DeepSeek V3 in the fact that this isn't a reasoning model. It's not gonna think for ages about something, uh, but it is an incredible workhorse. So it's going to get a lot of the everyday tasks done for you right, which makes it really good for content writing for SEO if you give it the right information, particularly because it has a search functionality within the um, chatbot, which has become kind of a norm now for, for all of these AIs to have, which I don't mind at all. So. We're gonna try it out for a couple of things. We're gonna create a blog post with it very quickly. We're gonna create a little web app with it very quickly, generate some images to see if you like it. And I wish I could show you the video generation capability, but I can't because every time I try to generate a video, it doesn't work, which considering it's open source and how much processing power you need to generate videos with AI, I think I'll give that to them. That's quite all right. So the first test we're gonna do is create a blog post with it using the web search functionality and the smartest model here. Um, to create a good blog post with it, you're going to need to prompt it correctly. Now, I've got a prompt ready for this. I'm gonna to go to our AI ranking community where we teach you all things AI SEO. And I'm going to go to my prompts and I've got a prompt here that I use with uh, DeepSeek. Um, because DeepSeek, you can place, you can use search as well. So you can see here, uh, DeepSeek copywriting prompt. I'm gonna copy this. This is in our premium community, by the way, not in the free one. I'm gonna go back to Quen. I'm going to paste the prompt in here. And there's just a bit of a section that I need to amend here. And it says in the insert topic and what you'd like to focus on. What we're gonna focus on is um, this new model. So I'm gonna say, uh, I'd like to discuss the new AI model from Alibaba, Quen 2.5 Max, and how it's outperforming the most of the flagship models and what this means to the AI space and the overall AI race that China and the US seems to be in. So not particularly an easy topic, but something that it should be able to figure out or at least give me a very solid first draft, which this is how these AI tools are supposed to be used in my opinion when you're writing content. Help them flesh out the majority of the content for you, but then you need to go and amend it and add your experience, which is something that AI can't replicate. Uh, so the section that I have here, uh, or the addition that I've added to the prompt is this here. Let's read it together. Uh, so the topic is the new AI, AI model from Alibaba, Quen 2.5 Max. I would like to discuss how it's beating uh, mean many many of the other flagship AI models in its category. I would also like to discuss how this impacts the overall AI space and the AI race that USA and China seem to be in. Include comparisons, yada, yada. So I've got web search enabled. Uh, I'm gonna hit send message and let's see what it does. It should hopefully do research first, then some few resources are gonna come up here. And interestingly, wow, it's actually done some research on how to write correctly how to write better prompts. <laughs> Interesting, I don't know if it's getting the right information, but we'll see. Um, let's read just the first sentence or half a sentence, and then you can decide whether it writes well, kind of straight off the bat with a fairly easy prompt. Let's see, the rise of Quen 2.5 Max, how Alibaba's AI model is reshaping the global AI race. That's a little dramatic, but never mind. Artificial intelligence has been, has been evolving at a breakneck pace. And every few months, we see new models that push the boundaries of what machines can do. But recently, one model caught everyone's attention, Quen 2.5 Max. Yeah. Uh, the latest flagship offering from, offering from Alibaba Cloud. The powerhouse isn't just a incremental update. It's making waves by outperforming many of the com key competitors. Da, 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 okay, not too bad. Uh, I'll probably amend this a little bit or give it a prompt to say, look, it's one of the things, one of the models that's making a lot of, uh, you know, waves in the AI space. But uh, what makes it stand out? Beautiful. I want to see this. Okay, I can't see that. 
Uh, oh, I can ask it to ask or explain. Okay, I wonder if I can get it to rewrite a section. So I've not haven't done this before. This is live or well, not live, but you get what I mean. Hmm. Okay, I can't select. It's done a table, which is nice. That's great. <laughs> you can see that it's really kind of downplaying GPT 4.0 because uh, it says multilingual support over 100 languages and GPT 4.0 only 95, so five less. <laughs> I don't know how true that is. Again, something that you want to double check. The ARS between US and China. <sighs> Okay, so this is not too bad. I don't mind how it writes at all. I think maybe another way to write with Quen 2.5 would be a uh, chain of thought prompting. Get it to do research on a couple of aspects, make sure that it has that in the conversation, in the chat, and then ask it to write a blog post about that. But to be honest, I'm really not mad at that. That's pretty good. I would amend it a little bit. Let's try the next thing and let's go image generation. Uh, and we're going to say something simple like a man, oh, a man running by a lake and see what it does. I'm not sure which image AI generation model they've got. I think it's their own. I need to do a little bit of research of that, but they're not using any of the flagship ones like Flux or anything like that. Yeah, and that's, that's not too bad. That's quite nice actually, to be honest. Yeah, I mean the thumb's a little funky, but uh, and the person doesn't look 100%. But that's pretty good. If I was scrolling through Instagram really quickly, I probably wouldn't tell the difference. So image-wise, it's pretty good. You can also change the image uh, sizing, obviously, which is a nice option. Uh, and let's go artifacts. Uh, da -da -da. So with artifacts, one really good thing for SEO to get you more traffic isn't just blogs, but it's creating easy to use and uh, little web apps that can help people in many ways. So let's create a really simple one. Let's create a CPC, so cost per click or Google ads versus SEO calculator in HTML that then we can upload to our website. Okay, so very simple uh, prompt. I've got artifacts enabled and artifacts is obviously not a rip, well, yeah, a rip off of Claude artifacts where I can see the code on the left side and then I can see the output of that code in real time, practically on the right side, making it really nice to edit as well. Something that GPT still won't do, I'm sure they'll come out with this functionality later, but I wish they would have come out with it when we got Canvas, then we didn't really get that. Okay, and it created the calculator, cost per click in dollars. So let's say we're paying $1.5 per certain keyword, estimated monthly clicks. You probably need at least a thousand to um, get some conversions with that. And one time SEO cost, let's go, you're spending a thousand dollars in a month in SEO. Let's go $3,000, calculate the total cost of CPC is 1,500 more cost effective than SEO by, okay, cool. Well, not too bad, it kind of works, but uh, I'll probably have to amend it. But for the first draft, this is pretty good. I can edit, oh, I can actually edit the code. That's cool, I didn't know they could do that. Save as a copy, save. Uh, and I can do a bunch of things here. Pretty cool, I don't mind it. It's an absolute powerhouse, really, if you think about it. And you can upload files as well, um, although it takes a little bit of time to upload files. So just before you try this tool, if you think it's the right for you, because it can write pretty well with a good prompt uh, and it can help you with your SEO task or any other task. Remember, it's a Chinese company, so uh, any data that you will give them, they will take, and even the data that you thought you might not give them. If that's an issue for you, then just be aware of that. I don't really care because they already have all my data and I'm using all the AI models. What's one more gonna do for me? But there you go, I use these tools so you don't have to. If you like this, let me know in the comments below if you're going to use it. Uh, and if you like this type of video and wanna keep up to date with all the AI tools and how you can use it for your SEO and general marketing, make sure you give me a subscribe and like this video. It would help us a lot. Cheers, I'll catch you in the next one.